It's funny because no matter how many times you change your internet history, you always find it keeps back at you. I just found out that the old web browser that, that I had on my phone automatically went to Pornhub from something that I watched like four months ago and I just never used the default browser. Yeah, you got to watch out for that. Um, luckily, I have no internet. What's up, guys? If you're in here, welcome back to another video. So, <sighs> it is 2019 and you're still a cuck. Have you relapsed? What are you going to do? Have you already started? New Year's resolution? If you have, good luck to you. Because I haven't. I'm still going strong. <laughs> I'm still going strong with NoFub guys, it's probably around about day 30, day 40, um, uh, estimate probably about day 20 to 20 to 30. I, I always find the times and I always put the times up, um, the, the dates up on my actual video because as I said a million and one times before, you wouldn't count the seconds towards your own death, so you wouldn't count the seconds towards you, the days before you actually, you know, you actually achieved your victory. That sounded a lot more morbid than it actually is, but actually when you, what, what I really mean is, what, what you, when you count the actual days, what happens is that eventually you will go insane because one day suddenly turns into two days, suddenly turns into three days, and you're acutely conscious of every single day. So I just, I make a conscious effort to just forget what day I'm on, which isn't very hard because I, I have a very schizoid um, brain. It goes from one thing to the next. But anyway, so today I wanted to talk about a few things and uh, quite a lot of them actually deserve their own video. But um, this last year, I've been doing a lot of research and a lot of thinking um, about MGTOW and Red Pill and all sorts of other stuff. And I've come to the conclusion that I am going to take down some of my MGTOW videos. And there's multiple reasons for that. But before I get into that, let's talk about NoVat, which is what this is about. I saw a nine, uh, probably about an eight, an eight walked into the shop yesterday. And um, I think it was one of the first times where I didn't feel anything. And I'm not talking about a flat line. I'm talking about the realization that you are the prize. And this came into a lot of the recent research that I've been doing, just a lot of um, development is that guys, you are the prize. Our culture likes to teach us that you are not the prize. Our culture likes to teach us that women are the, can do no wrong. They are just nice, cuddly, fluffy bunnies and they can do nothing wrong. And you know, girl power and all that shit. You are the prize, guys, because like it or not, if not for sex and comfort, men would not need women. But women need men for innovation. I'm talking about like from a biological standpoint, we were the providers, we were the protectors, we were in some part the nurturers, we served a million and one different roles. Yet they seek to make us the weaker of the two. Now, I'm not stupid enough to think that men and women are equal. Men and women are not equal. And I think the idea that we could be somehow is the cause of a lot of a lot of problems, especially in, in the job market and stuff like that, whereby you have two people competing for the same job. But the company has a quota. We need a certain number of women. So let's hire the woman who is half as good as the man. Or why don't we open up all these positions to women instead of men, whereas women don't want to become engineers, so all those positions end up getting wasted, whereas all these other guys who have the potential don't get there. Why? Because they're guys. All that other shit. No, guys, you are the price. And um, I've been ruminating on this and really thinking about this and trying to bring this into the fore of my experience and consciousness. And it's been fairly difficult up until recently, but I've been doing a lot more emotional work and I've realized that I've actually, you know, felt that I am the actual prize and this was never more stark than than uh, yesterday when um, a nine walked into the shop and there's a funny phenomenon that happens when it comes to women especially well most of the time it's attractive women the more attractive they are the more susceptible they are to this don't give them any attention especially if you're a halfway decent decent looking guy don't give them any attention and see how they just hold <laughs> it's just just cave in mentally and cave in emotionally um it gives me a bit of a perverse pleasure <laughs> quite honestly but this happened a lot especially if you're if you're out at clubs and a 10 just expects that you're just going to fawn over her and you just treat her like 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 the mcdonald's lady <laughs> like a lady like like when we're working at mcdonald's and you just watch just the color the self-esteem oh man I brought this 10 to her knee, oh she wasn't, I'd probably say, I'd probably say she was an 8 or a 9, 
but I was at a rave once and um that was that was a good I was when I rave I'm in I'm in my own I'm in my own space like no one gets into that space and I dance all night and this is about five probably about six seven years ago god I'm old um and uh, <laughs> I was thinking to myself like when I was when I was dancing she tried to because we have this thing at the end where like, everyone sits down and they all light up joints it's a very unique rave and they're under this underneath this parachute it's a very very famous rave not very famous but very good um and uh, she came up to me and tried to cozy up and tried to be all nice and you know try to get under my skin and just you know trying to trying to trying to trying to just butter me up and trying to get me to fall over and I remember literally because I was lying I was lying down at the moment I literally I, I I just leaned up because she was like she was like squatting sort of next to me I just just got up slightly took the lighter from her hand picked up a zoop from the next guy because we were sort of passing it around lit it and just went back down and exhaled. <laughs> I was just like, nope, like not dealing with it. Okay, here you are. I am knackered. I've been dancing all night and I am absolutely not getting involved. So what ended up happening was after that, she caved. Like you could tell she was super insecure. She was sitting in the corner, just like not, not talking. This is a, te this is, I, I, I say she was a 10, but I know that men, men are biased and, and uh, men are very, very, um, and men are very, very subjective. Um, so. You could tell she was very, very insecure, and I and I, I did this yesterday as well. And uh, but it wasn't even deliberate. It wasn't even. It wasn't. It wasn't. I mean, the last time wasn't wasn't deliberate either. I was just tired and it's like, yeah, go fuck yourself. Whereas this time it was like, I knew that she was shot, and I saw that. But thanks to a lot of things, like for example, um, doing a lot of work on NoFap as well, and being on a partial flatline and all sorts of stuff like that. Because of all this, I didn't feel any sort of attraction to her, and I had a job to do. So I was just like, okay, hi, bye, like stuff to do. You know, and she tried to she tried to pull the moves. I, I, admittedly, she was trying to come on to me as well. But at that point, it was like, you know what? You know, I'm not. You know, I, I'm not going to like. I've got so much shit to do. I'm so tired, and I do not have time to flirt. Unlike my other colleague who flirts all the all, all the time, and she caved. Like you could tell, she she couldn't make eye contact with either me or the or the or my colleague at the at the at, at the front. She she was just she she morphed, and um, in that moment, I realized like again that like guys you are the prize you are the prize we are living in, in a society right now that wants to tell you the, the the complete opposite that wants to tell us that no you're not the prize that that women are the ones on top but no like you are the prize and taking back your own power is one of the best ways of really drilling at home not only to the society but to women and to yourself that you are the price and reminding them of that because they know many of these women they do know. I'm not, I'm not talking about all women obviously I can't believe I have to reiterate that but they know that you are the price anyway that's all I've got to say for today um, I was originally going to be talking about red pill and MGTOW and how I'm going to be taking off some of my MGTOW videos but I think I'm going to do an, another video on that because it's such it's I wish it was a simple question of logic because this is the manosphere so to speak and it's so many men are just being emotional, knee-jerk and aren't really thinking with their heads. It's really hard for me to really just skim over this topic and not have it misinterpreted. But um, I'll go into that on another video. But I just, you know, it's weird. I'll get into that in the next video. That's all I'm going to say for today. It's no fact day. See the title. And bring it out. Peace.